Bogolyubov had said that Gelman is closest to Einstein in intellectual capacity. I met Bogolyubov, says Stefan, in Belgrade, Serbia, Yugoslavia, in September 1978. Bogolyubov was the guest of the Serbian Academy of Sciences. At that time I was on the leave of absence from the Lebedev Institute of Physics of the Soviet, now Russian, Academy of Sciences where I was doing research in theoretical plasma physics, in the plasma theory department led by Viktor Pavlovich Selin. Bogolyubov and I had driven together in my car, along with Bogolyubov's wife, and a collaborator, from Belgrade to Sofia, Bulgaria, where Bogolyubov was the guest of the Bulgarian Academy of Sciences. At that time, says Stefan, Bogolyubov was working on the quark theory. He talked about Murray Gelman, who was one of the pioneers in the research. He also talked about Victor Weisskopf, whom Bogolyubov had known personally as the Massachusetts Institute of Technology leader and as director of the European Organization for Nuclear Research, CERN. I had not known then, that in a short three years, I would have been at the MIT, doing research in Dokumak thermonuclear fusion physics. Bogolyubov had said that Gelman is closest to Einstein in intellectual capacity. Uh, our greatest 20th century theorist, Einstein, in 1905, when he published his paper on special relativity, had to break away from the accepted but unnecessary and wrong idea of absolute space and time, which was accepted by virtually everybody. And only then, when he broke away from it, could he take seriously as a general principle the symmetry group of Maxwell's equations for electromagnetism, which was the 
group of special relativity. He was then free to propose that that was a symmetry of all mechanics rather than just the symmetry of electromagnetic equation. And of course, taken seriously uh, was something that he did in two other cases in that same year, the same volume of the Annalen de Physique, when he was 25, in 1905, he published the suggestion of how to measure the density of molecules by observing small but visible objects that are struck by them, like Gombosch particles in urea solution, or uh, particles of ink in Brownian motion in water. And that way, he was taking seriously the idea of a molecule as a real physical thing, the collisions with which could be directly observed by the human eye. Uh, the same volume, he published the explanation of the photoelectric effect, in which he took seriously Planck's quantum as an actual physical thing that could have a collision. <laughs> <laughs> and it could, could have a uh, reaction 